the time form handicap chase from Haydock on the good to soft ground over three miles four uh, furlongs nor to 130 handicap one is Cottage Rake Craig Beckwith two Madeline Rose Patrick Hogan three Captain Main Wearing Martin Leadham four is Molly also Alex Cherry five Boomerang Armin Graham Clatterbuck six is another way Obi Wan seven Thistle Down to Window Patrick Hogan and eight is Trend Attitude for David Robertson eight horses in this handicap and where they go it's Madeline Rose uh, who is a reluctant leader out wide Molly Awesome now goes to, f to the front but it's a very slow pace no one wants to lead yeah they're all pulling hard on the inside is Trent Attitude they jump the first and they're all over oh no it's a faller Madeline Rose made a mistake and is gone and one of Patrick Hogan horses is gone seven horses remain in the time form handicap Molly Awesome uh, putting hard on the outside leads from Trent Attitude uh, on the inside, in between horses, Obi Wan's another way. They're just behind that, the red colours of Captain Man wearing. They jump the next, and they're all over it okay. Uh, Cody Shrake is on the inside for Craig Beckwith. Then comes Thistle down the window for Patrick Hogan at the back of the field is Graham Clover's boomerang Armin. So, trend attitude for David Robertson now has started to take it up. From on the outside, Molly Awesome, who jumps that slowly, also very slow at the back, was another way. Um, Four in line behind. Mo um, Molly Awesome, Cottage Rake on the inside. In between also the yellow colours, black cap, that's Thistle Down to Window. The red colours in the yellow cap, that's Captain Man Wearing. Graham Clutterbuck's Rolsch flag colours, Boomerang Armin behind that. And then two lanes back to another way after that mistake. But it's only about six lanes first to last. And the turquoise and pink stripes of uh, David Robertson's trend attitude leads from Molly Awesome in second. Behind that cottage rake being pushed along for a stride or two. Captain Man wearing on that one's outside. This will down the winner has the rails run with on his outside boomerang Armin and about a length back. Another way looks on from the rear in those yellow colours. There's about six lengths, seven lengths to first to last. As they jump the next, they're all over it okay. And it's trend attitude still the leader, but a reluctant one. There's not much pace on here. Molly Awesome on that one's outside. Then about two lengths back to uh, Cottage Rake, who is on the inside of Captain Man wearing. Two lanes back to Slessel Underwood as they jump the next, who's been switched out for a clear view of the fences. Uh, get Boomerang Arm and be pushed along for a stride or two after a slight mistake at that fence and another way. Still at the rear of the field after that early blunder. About six or seven lengths off now, Molly Awesome, who's now the new leader. They jump the next, and Molly Awesome jumps it uh, okay, but a better jump from trained attitude on the inside. Cottage Rake follows that with Captain Man wearing on that one's outside. Then comes Boomerang Arm in. Um, they're followed by uh, Thistle Down to Wunder and another way has the rails run. So it's a little long way to go in this. Molly Awesome gets over it well from a uh, pushed along now trained attitude to hold his position. Cottage Rake is now clear third from about two lengths back to Captain Marion. They jumped that slow jump in the air there by uh, trained attitude. Another way is past one that's Thistle Down to Wunder at the back of the field. So Molly Awesome in the front from Cottage Rake who's now past Train Attitude who has dropped slightly back off that uh, slow jump at the last fence. Captain Man Wearing has moved to the inside with Boomerang Armin on that one's outside. Then comes another way for Obi-Wan and Thistle Down to Wunder at the back of the field now. About seven lengths off the new leader Molly Awesome. So Alex Sherry Molly Awesome jumps the next and jumps it well. From Cottage Rake in, in second, who's on the outside of Trend Attitude. Then comes Boomerang Armin, another way is creeping close. So Captain Man Wearing has lost positions. He's now joined last with Thistle Down to Wunder at the back of the field as a jump next. And Alex Cherry's Molly Awesome is in front. From on the inside, Trend Attitude. Then comes Cottage Rake, followed by Boomerang Armin with another way behind that. Captain Man Wearing follows that. And then comes Thistle Down to Wunder. Yeah, and the time form handicap at Haydock. They jump the next. And I think that'll be the last in the circuit's time. That might be the second last one. Molly Austin, the leader from Cottage Rake. Boomerang Arm and we're creeping closer on the outside for Graham Clatterback. With on the inside trained attitude in between horses. Another way. This is the last next time round. You see the third on pole there. As at Molly Austin clear. But four lengths from Alex Cherry's. Uh, up from Craig Beck was um, Cottage Rake as they pass the big screen on the inside is Trend Attitude and they pass the Winnie Post and head on their final circuit with Molly Awesome clear by about four lengths from Cottage Rake so Alex Cherry's orange seas and orange cap with very distinctive colours from Graham um, David Robertson is also pretty distinctive colours the, the Trend Attitude Cottage Rake in between horses on the outside is Boomerang Armin 
Uh, three in line behind that, uh, slightly in front, uh, the horse in between them is another way with the yellow colours. On the on the rail, the black cap, black uh, sleeves and yellow colours. Uh, yellow body, that's Patrick Hogan's thistle down the window and in the back of the field, Captain Man Marine. But it's only six lanes first to last, so they all jumped that well. And uh, Molly Orson, not so far clear now, but a length clear of trained attitude who comes up to rejoin Molly Orson for the lead. They're followed by Boomerang Armin, who's been creeping closer for Graham Clutterback. And the jumper next, and a slow jumper, Molly Awesome, and also a very slow jumper, Thistle under Wunder at the back of the field. So, trained attitude has gone back up to lead, Molly Awesome. Boomerang Armin, he's always been thereabouts and has been creeping closer and traveling well for Graham, Clutter, for Graham Clutterbuck. On the inside of that is uh, Cottage Rake, they all jump it okay. Ponderous jumps at the back, though, another way now clear of the two made mistakes, Captain Man Waring and Thistle under Wunder. So, trained attitude is extending. The front four is trying to get away from the back three and train attitude about three lengths clear of Molly Awesome now. And a jump, an ex slow jump by train attitude though. Better jumps by the third and fourth Cottage Drake and Boomerang Armin. Then about five lengths back to another way is being pushed along. So is being thrust under one of the jump, an X, and also Captain Man Wearing. So trained attitude now clear from Molly Awesome in second as they start the long swing for the home stretch. Train or, or straight attitude clear from Molly Awesome. Then follows Cottage Rake. They followed by Graham Clutterbuck's uh, Boomerang Armin as they turn for home. In the time form handicap and its trained attitude is clear from Molly Orson. Thistle down to Wunder is moving closer now. Boomerang Armin is still third, but here comes Thistle down to Wunder. Cottage Rake behind that. Captain Man Warwick's trying to get going. Another way is also being pushed along, but Train Attitude kicks from the front. It's Train Attitude jumping the next well from Molly Awesome in second. Thistle down to Wunder is still trying to creep closer in third. Then comes Boomerang Armin, but Train Attitude has set sail for home with two ferns left to travel. Molly Awesome is trying to fight, fight Bradley back in second. Then Thistle down to Wunder. Boomerang Armin back in fourth. But Trend Attitude has gone clear. Trend Attitude from Molly Orson who looks the only conceivable danger. It's Trend Attitude in clear for David Robertson from Molly Orson in second. These two have been 1 2 for the whole race and slowly run a fair. And I don't think the yells are going to get to them. Trend Attitude jumps in slowly, but so does Molly Orson. It's Trend Attitude in front. Molly Orson is game in second. Trying to rally in second is Molly Orson. Trend Attitude for David Robertson. The out comes Molly Orson when he's outside. Trend Attitude, but Molly Orson is going to pick him up close to the line. And Molly Awesome gets up to beat Trend Attitude on the post. Molly Awesome for Alex Terry, very game in second, rallies to just get up and beat David Robertson. Trend Attitude looking to see no, Whoa, it's very close. I think Trend Attitude actually held on. Angle was deceiving. Trend Attitude. Uh, no, it's a dead heat. It's a dead heat. Trend Attitude and Molly Awesome dead heat for first. This is under Wunder for Patrick Hogan, ran on for third. Cottage Rake was fourth for Greg Beckwith, and Boomerang Arbin was fifth for Graham Clutterback. So the, f the two who dictated matters for the whole way, Train Energy to Molly Asim, dead eat for first.